<clears throat> Hello friends, I'm back, I got some black grapes, that's all I ate today so far, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon. When you pay attention to your body, let's go back to this paying attention. That's the whole, that's the hook of your life. You're paying attention. Remember when you go to school, you're rewarded because you pay attention and you can remember what you are heard. So, the teachers, if you see you paying attention to the class and you remember what they're telling you, you're automatically a good student. Okay. Well, I'm telling you, you still have to pay attention now. Not to be a good student, to have a good life. It's bigger than that. Because you can be a good student and still be a slave. You can feel so powerful and so many uh, diplomas on your walls about you reading all these books they're telling you this should be, you should be reading but somehow you don't pay attention to what your body need what is your your um, your fire on this world for real like not the books that's what they tell you you have to know all these books but if nobody told you what to do then you start doing what you want people say no if you give people freedom they'll do only stupid stuff that's not true. Look at the animal world. They know what they got to do. When they're hungry, they look for food. When they're tired, they sleep. When they have energy, they play. They know how to multiply and all these things. Which book they read? You know? Which, what kind of book they read? But, hey, we got to progress. You know, humans has to progress. Progress to what? To this? One on top of another in cubicles? One flush in the toilet, the other one hits... The drain down his, but his pipe, same pipe. The shit comes down from everybody. Shit comes down through your house and the other guy house and the other guy house. You think, oh, but there's isolation and no, yeah, there's bacteria on there living on those pipes. Lots of it, and all these cables to the walls and all this. Cement everywhere you look you can't take your shoes off anymore. You feel disgusted to step on the floor car oil engine oil on the floor everybody spits and Trashes and they have to clean it every day just to make sure you're not disgusted of the smell if you're on earth the earth has this power absorbing most of the toxins and all these little creatures we don't even see this microscopic um, bacteria eats other bacteria but that's how it's supposed to be you go back let's say you have a camp here but of course you take all the plastics off you don't leave all this trash you guys leaving around that is so stupid but you clean everything and you just your residue remains there you come back in a couple months and the place looks so energetic and vibrant the earth Reheal them himself like without doing anything some rain came down some sun a little bit of wind and all these bacteria start to be active and It looked like nobody ever camp over there. It actually looks even better now Ah, so let's talk about pay pay at pay attention pay attention the number of the homeless are growing around the world now And people say yeah, but they're lazy they're drug addicts they this and that I tell you what they are. They're tired, so tired and so sick of the system. They can't do it anymore. They cannot do it. They can't. They don't have the power anymore to do it. They better say drug all day and kill their life than go back on that cubicle and say, yes, boss. Yes, boss. What can I help you, boss? How can I do this for you, boss? How I can pay your mem your nice uh, a villa in Switzerland or on, on Bali, boss. How I can do all these things for you, boss. 
So you, maybe you give me a two weeks vacation when you feel like it. In a whole year, a month vacation, maybe you give it to me. Maybe you won't. You tell me I don't have enough time with the company. So they just go on the streets and they prefer to sleep in tents on the side of the streets. And now there's like 23% more homeless than last year or something like that. Over sudden. Because people are trying to awaken. But when you awake and you awaken, it's like the reality which you used to live. It feels so fake. It hurts you so hard. You don't know how to pass that time because you've never been free. And now all of a sudden you have all this time, a whole day to do nothing. But you don't know what to do. Because you've never been free. There was uh, two ladies talking in front of me one time. And one lady, she said, well, my husband got to his retirement age. And he stayed home for like two years and he went back and got a job. And I started to laugh in my mind. I'm thinking, how can you work 70 years or 68 years for this crazy jobs we create around us and then go back to it because you train like a robot to do that and it gives you freedom you feel like you don't know what to do because you're never in free so that's what I'm trying to show you through my pictures and my videos what to do with your freedom you know you can do things I'm not saying you know you have to be 100% lazy but you don't have to be working all the time that is ridiculous human being human being not human worker, human superhero, human soldier, human being. Human. Not the man. The man is the disease, the cancer of it. Hue, it comes from the, 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 the energy, the solar energy. Man. We separate a human man and create men now. We're just men living on earth. Which is like totally cancer from this earth. We see what we're doing to this earth. We can see what men do. Like. Take all the oil out, take all the resources, the gas, the natural gas, dig on the ocean, spills everywhere, uh, use all these combinations of different materials where they're toxic for us. They should be underground where they belong, not on my table. This was made out of earth. Okay? But most of the stuff. What we choose to have in our house is made out of plastic. Plastic everywhere. So we don't pay attention to these little things and then we suffer so much more. Because these little things are the most important. You think because if here says Nike or here says when you are any company, Reebok, Adidas, whatever, this is giving you a bigger value. See, this is Reebok. The some Chinese slaves who work for a dollar a day or two dollar a day every day on their life build that for you. And you pay sixty to two hundred dollar for that shirt who costs three dollars to make maybe less. And you enslaving these people to work for you when you can wear something more basic, more um, Easy to make, to say it, you know. A, a different technology. Something will last you. And some, you don't need so much clothes. Like, I'm wearing this shirt, this, this sweater, I wear the whole winter, really. Like, if you look through my videos for the last couple of months, probably I'm wearing this. I don't need to have 20 different brand names shirts anymore. I've been there. When I wake up, because I wake up one day. Oh, I wake up one day. And I look around me and I say, what am I doing? What are all these clothes? All these tennis shoes that I don't even like. And all these belts and all these hats and all this. I give it all away. First, I was trying to sell it. Then people try to be like, but this belt, $10. I mean, I gave you 5 I knew I paid like 50 you know. $50 for that Levis belt or whatever it was. And now... I can, they want to give me $5 for it or $10. You know what I said? Fuck it. I better leave them here. Who wants to take them? I don't need to carry this around. I went to Hawaii with three bags, which I still hang on to some things. You know, the minus. The rest of it, but I'm talking many, many. I have to move two weeks things around to get free out of that one place I stay. The last house I have. 
and I put the stuff in storage and then uh, every day I was getting more uh, more simple more simple more simple I realized I don't need this stuff from the storage you know I'm wearing almost the same shirt I'm washing my shirt it gets dry off I have another shirt in that meantime I have these spare pants until they really rip apart I'm gonna wear them and then I'm gonna get another pair of pants from Goodwill or whatever for a couple of bucks or somebody did the same stupid shit I did went and bought it for 50 bucks and then try to sell it for 3 bucks and nobody wants to give it 3 bucks because it's not new and then give it to Goodwill and then finally Goodwill sell it for 3 bucks after a month in, in hangar you know but I got it for 3 dollars and you work for it to pay the full price of getting somewhere you know because you didn't pay attention what you're doing. You're just buying things, buying things. I have full closets of clothes. Anyway, I have to let go, let go, let go, let go. I didn't go to the storage anymore. I didn't pay. I don't care. They take it. We're going to take your clothes if you don't pay $200. And I say, you know what, man? I'm a new guy. I, I don't even like that kind of tight shoes. and I don't wear belts. I don't even wear belts. If I wear like a... Um, like a fabric belt around my waist to hold on around it. Maybe like a, <clears throat> when I go to the forest, I have some gear, knife, and some stuff like that. That's fine. But it's not always around my, my waist. It's just for that one... See, another person tried to distract me. This distraction are the problem, you know? You try to do something very important. Somebody says, 